work that is being done at Measure DHS right now includes a, a wide variety acti of activities, including uh, mostly survey implementation. So our demographic and health surveys, many of them, especially those in Sub-Saharan Africa, include malaria modules. And then we also have standalone malaria indicator surveys, which are designed to collect information specifically on malaria control interventions and various malaria-related outcomes. Um, so in total, we have conducted over 34 MIS, malaria indicator surveys, or DHS that have included parasitemia testing, and we also have many more that have malaria modules and anemia testing. Um, in addition, we maintain a website, malariasurveys.org, which is intended to be a one-stop shopping for malaria indicator survey data. In addition, we do a host of trainings, in, including for one, helping out with a Peace Corps boot camp program where there are volunteers that are involved in uh, malaria control efforts in various countries. Uh, we also have conducted a bunch of data users workshops. Uh, there's one upcoming in Tanzania. I know we've been involved in some in Kenya and other places. Uh, we also have a specific curriculum that has been developed on the malaria module for those who want to learn more about our efforts in that. We've been key partners in a series of impact evaluations which are designed to look at uh, countries that are currently supported by the President's Malaria Initiative. It's a multi-agency effort, so it's not just looking at the result of funding from PMI, the President's Malaria Initiative, but also from a whole host of other institutions and funders that contribute to malaria control uh, efforts, and to look at what the increasing coverage of these interventions has done to malaria um, specifically focusing on all-cause under five mortality as an outcome. So it's a huge effort. There are currently 15 PMI countries in which we are uh, planning evaluations um, and we're in the midst of that. So the impact evaluation has been completed for Tanzania and is in final formatting. Um, Tanzania has shown great success in malaria control, great improvement over time, and subsequently, um, we have also noted decreases, significant decreases in under five mortality. Um, looking at the whole host of, of other child health interventions and other pot uh, potential causes for decreases in mortality, uh, the impact evaluation has concluded that it's very likely that the improvements in malaria control have contributed to these decreases in mortality. Data collected by Measure DHS um, provide the raw material that's needed to answer a lot of key questions by uh, countries' malaria control programs. Uh, we collect data on uh, insecticide-treated net ownership and use um, by the population. Okay, we collect data on intermittent treatment for prevention of malaria in pregnancy, IPTP. Uh, we also look at indoor residual spraying with insecticide, IRS. Um, we also look at outcomes related to malaria, such as anemia in young children. In, in a subset of countries, we will actually test for malaria parasitemia. And we also look at mortality, child mortality, which is highly correlated with malaria in, in high endemic countries. Uh, there are challenges to collecting malaria data in the DHS. Some are just inherent with the kind of survey a DHS is, which is a, a cross-sectional population-based household survey. Um, so with that, if we want to get at the real question of are malaria control interventions having a certain impact, um, it, it is challenging because all of the information is collected at one point in time. We don't follow a population over time. So for the key questions that the malaria community is trying to answer, it is somewhat challenging to use our data. 
Um, in addition, malaria in some places is a very seasonal disease, so when the rains come, mosquito populations increase, and the parasites uh, multiply, and based on humidity and rainfall and temperature. So all of these very complex factors that influence transmission of malaria um, mean that the timing of data collection can influence our findings. Um, our malaria indicator surveys tend to be collected during the high transmission season so that we have a sense of the, the maximum transmission that's going on, whereas our demographic health survey, the DHS surveys, tend to be done in, in the low season for logistical reasons. Um, so so this, is, this is a challenge to using the data, one must understand the limitations. So the malaria field may be changing quite a bit in the next 10 years and our role therefore may change. Um, hopefully we will develop better tools to measure and monitor and evaluate our malaria control programs and to actually test for malaria. It's kind of challenging as it is right now to, to conduct these tests in the field. Um, you know, the sensitivity of our tests, the specificity of our tests, how, how well we can actually detect, detect the parasites. Um, hopefully we will develop more sensitive and specific measures of impact of interventions on malaria. Um, I also think that as vital registration systems improve, as the ability of other countries to collect information from health facilities improves, the need for survey-based data will decrease. Um, that would allow a better measurement of really specific outcomes, so to actually look at how many people are coming in with malaria, are getting tested, are getting treated, um, that would be ideal, but currently many countries don't have the capacity to do that very well, which is why we rely on household survey data. Um, but as prevalence decreases, it's, it is challenging to collect the data we need from household surveys. So I think uh, uh, over time we're going to see a, a need to triangulate data with facility data in, in, a, in an improved way. Um, but I'm not overly optimistic. I think 10 years from now we're still going to need DHS to look at, if nothing else, to look at coverage with our interventions. Um, because as we've already mentioned, it is, you know, a, a non-biased source of national coverage, um, which you would not get from other sources.